gems how you doing this is V I have a special something today to show you um, I've not seen anybody else show this and I've been using it for a while and you know I've been gone for a while so what I'm going to show you is this lovely little portfolio how do you guys store your diamond paintings so if you've got diamond paintings that you have not um, given away framed or whatever how do you store them um, it becomes a battle as a diamond painter that when you enjoy doing diamond painting you end up with having so many diamond paintings excuse my backside so many diamond paintings that you just can't store them can't work out a nice way to store them misty go away okay so come this side that's it good girl you may get a guest appearance of Misty's. Anyway, this is an A1 art portfolio. It it zips up all the way around. Um, two zips, so it, you can do it like that. But if you see, uh, uh, you have sheets of diamond paintings. So this is how I protect and store my diamond paintings. I do have lots more than what I've got here, but hopefully I'm going to open this up the right way. Yep. If I open it up, whoops. And we move this along, you will see. Bear with me, my butt again. What you will see is there is also a side pocket there is a side pocket on both sides so what i do is um these are just lying flat in there all being held nicely and in place as you can see i'm sorry about the angle diamond paintings i've actually glued these on okay um you can actually see this sheet has two slide that along so that has two and then you've got just your singles and that's all it takes one of these and i will go to i have a couple of that i haven't glued on they're just sitting in there i've just slid them in there and yet again like these these are just slid in there for now, at least to keep them safe. And um, yeah, whoops, that's folded. But that is one way to keep your diamond painting safe and secure. These plastic sleeves come like this. You, I got these from, in Australia, that's Office Works. You may find, uh, I checked with Spotlight, there wasn't in spot, any in Spotlight. But uh, I checked Spotlight. I didn't find any in Spotlight, not in the A1 size. So this is actually our stationery store, one of our big stationery chains. So next steps for this is I'm actually going to put a diamond painting onto one of these. And... Um, move you to my desk so that you can see it from my desk you just couldn't see all of this goodness from uh from my desk to see see it all happening if i actually lift you up this is i'm on a this is my coffee table but okay so this is securing my diamond paintings in place um they're protected no dust getting on them and there's ones yet to go what i do find is i'll put them on here i do actually glue these down i cut the edges off and glue these down they can be lifted um, with a little bit of i don't use heavy duty glue hang on misty bring that here come on come on what do you got what do you got is that your donkey? New toy, she's loving it. Anyway, 
the uh, diamond paintings will um, all stay flat. So this diamond painting um, is... <coughs> shh. Go get your donkey. Um, this diamond painting is a, about a 60 by 90. So that gives you an idea of how much room there is to put these on there. So let's get two and uh, we'll do one on my desk. I am going to be putting on the into the portfolio is the purple honey hummingbird from Create Love Share 35 by 50 and I will be putting it this way. There is plenty of room for me to put another one similar size here but I think by itself it's stunning so I'm not going to mess around with it. Process from here is to trim the sides off which uh, using the rotary blade I then need to measure up so that I get this central and then I glue it down. I'm going to do all of this by um, speed so enjoy the lovely music that I pick out. Um, I think that's about it and we will, I'll get to the process. There we go, just on a simple piece of paper. Um, the measurement size you saw, uh, I made sure I measured the, how wide it was. Then I took away the width and that left me how much gap I needed on either side, the same going with the height. I used washi tape to lay it down to keep it in frame uh, within those shapes so that I didn't have to worry about pencil lines. So if I'd actually drawn on here, I didn't want to have to worry about cleaning them up but there we go nicely done on there there is not a lot of glue because it's more about holding it in place on the sheet so that I can slide the uh, sleeve on which I'm gonna do now and the way I have although it can be changed the way I have it in the book upright is there with the opening is actually on the bottom so we're going to just slide this out and it is when there's only one it's pretty easy to get in when you get a second one um, on your cam on your paper that's when it gets a little bit tricky but at the moment I just have the one so we can just wiggle it in this way so what I can do when I am if I want to fray this I can just remove it off the paper 
and uh, pop it in a frame or however I want to present it. Come on, it's nearly there. <laughs> it is, it's all about wiggling. I'll wiggle it just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go get my um, portfolio back in a sec. portfolio now out I just need to remove all those little plastic holes open up the holes and you'll see by the fact that uh, you're not seeing as much of the portfolio is because of the uh, height of things around here and because it's so big. Okay, there is three, lots of three. And all it takes is just popping it in. I now, what that means, oops, come on, get on there. Come on. On you go. And there we go. She is now in there, ready to put one on the back. I do want to grab that and that. Actually, I will keep all of those. There we go. I'll keep those three bits, which is the name, the company, and the DMC uh, legend. And yeah, with the. Okay, and I'll pop those in there. They can stay there if I decide to move it again, if I want to frame it, if I happen to lose drills. I. Uh, have a copy of everything that's needed in there. So what do you think? Great way to store diamond paintings flat. I will say it does get very heavy. Uh, I don't know how many diamond paintings I've got in here that are in fold in the plastic or even just in my um, door, in my side pockets. So gems, let me know what you think. Um, I don't know if anybody else has done it. Let me know if you actually do know if somebody else has done it. But definitely leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this. Um, there's some gorgeous pieces of art that I've got. So yeah, that's the Treasure Studios. There's a lot of diamond shop. Um, that one's actually Victoria's. Missy, oh, go back to playing with your toys. Oh. <laughs> On that note, I better. Shh. Are you saying hello? Stop it. Shush. Quiet. Good girl. Quiet. No. Do you want some treats? <laughs> On that, <laughs> I say treats. It's like, oh yeah. I'll have some treats. What's going on with you, Misty? Hang on. Okay, so while Misty, while Misty eats her treats, I will say, leave me comments, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, bye for now.